Hello, I'm Alex Townsend, and I'm a first-year graduate student at the Department of Scientific Computing. Today I'm going to briefly discuss scientific computing as a field and give you a brief overview of what I'm doing in my current line of research. So first, what is scientific computing anyway? Scientific computing is all about how to use computers to solve real-world problems in a wide array of fields from across science and engineering. Because of where we are at the interface of science, engineering, computing, and math, we have a very strong focus on interdisciplinary interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary research that ties together many far-flung fields of inquiry. My talk today is going to be just one example of this. My specific line of research is scientific computing and acoustic ecology. Specifically, I work on patterns of geographic variation and animal vocalizations. Basically, I want to know if animals have accents kind of like humans do. My current project deals with Cope's gray tree frog, which is really nice in that it has this very repetitive call structure. Just like you can usually tell a person's accent based on just a single word or phrase, a single pulse if you will, we wanted to see if you could do the same thing with a frog call. So we extracted the first full pulse, full in the sense that its peak was about as high as the others, and aligned them, giving, this, giving us this picture here in the lower left hand corner of the slide. We then computed the distance between each of these pulses and ran this distance matrix through a hier hierarchical clustering algorithm to see if we could discern distinct groups. Since this is a new method, we also wanted to validate any pattern seen against previously known results. Okay. According to previous research by Dr. Gerhardt in the 1970s, if this method works, we should see a distinct eastern and a distinct western group. And this is almost exactly what we get. As you can see here in this figure, we get two very distinct groups, one blue and one red. Here the red group is the western group, which separates out very nicely from the rest while the blue group is the eastern group. So this method works very nicely, but it's still a work in progress. That blue group on the top and the one with the green arrow by it are probably in the wrong groups because of noise, because of noise in the data. As time goes on, I'll be working on improving this method. So to conclude, this was just one of the, do the dozens of projects going on right now in scientific computing and application areas all across science and engineering. And this is just one example of how scientific comp computing has become an integral part of modern scientific inquiry. As the amount of data generated in research and development projects increases, so too will the need for scientific computing. If any of this seems interesting enough for you to, out there to consider joining scientific computing, come by the fourth floor of the Duroc Science Library to, and talk to us. If you come by on Wednesday afternoons, we usually have tea and cookies. Thank you.